me just double check this is recording. I have everything balanced in front of me. It's so funny. I wish I had something else to take a picture of because I have like a water bottle <laughs> holding up. <laughs> I know my computer's balanced on a very expensive bottle of champagne that someone gave us. You have champagne, I have water. You know, balance. Oh, balance. <laughs> and we both have tea. We both have tea. Like, there's so oh, yeah. much here. Yeah. There's, there's so many legitimate fears, right? And then there's anxiety alongside it. Some worries are legitimate and some worries are mind is going crazy. Yeah. I mean, is fear ever useful? No. It Ch no. doesn't change the situation in front of you. It Well, it'll change it for the worst because fear is just a limiting belief. It's just a, I can't see myself get through this, which is not ever true not ever true they don't help at all all they do is create the same outcome it's just a limiting belief that we can't get something it might feel like you have absolutely no control right now and i totally get that yeah. but this is the most important time to understand energy a lot of people are fearing money right now it's a perception right with fears right now whenever you fear something or feel like there is going to be a lack of something sinking in and going okay i have money somewhere where is it where is the abundance around me and just start seeing it the more you see it the more you acknowledge it the more you get the more you feel like you don't have it the more you're not gonna have it so it's shifting your perspective yeah so right now if you're fearing anything or you feel like there's a lack of something, you just have to see where it is because it's there. Are there exercises that people can be doing to help manage the fear or to help switch yeah. perspective on it? Yeah, let's just take like money, for example, because I know that might be a stress, right? Yeah. Um, make a list of all of the abundance you have in your life right now. Like everything. And abundance can be you have abundance of like love right now from family now coming into your life that you never spoke to on a daily basis, but now you're talking to a lot more because we're all bored. <laughs> um, <laughs> abundance can be anything, but think of like, and if, if it is money, you want to focus, like if you want the money, there's, I mean, look at all the money you spent and all the stuff around you right now. Right. That, so make a list of the abundance in your life the more you focus on the abundance the more you will get it you will have less lack of abundance it's just a perception it always will be a perception so maybe like first thing in the morning write down five things set a timer five minutes i do this i love it it takes five minutes everyone has five minutes yep. and whether you put one thing on the list or 20 things on the list it still works and it's such a positive way to start the day because so often I will roll over, check my phone, check Instagram, check text messages, see emails I need to reply to, stuff I've forgotten. And then it, your brain all of a sudden, as soon as you open your eyes, your poor little mind is stressed already. Yes. Yes. Right? yes. Start with the abundance list or things you're grateful for or whatever it is. It starts to rewire your brain differently right totally. how you start your day is very important and i know you you and i have talked about this all the time with self-love it's putting yourself first so whatever you put first in your day sets the tone of, for yourself so it's a great thing to do first thing in the morning five minutes doable have the kids do it with you i want to do it what like five times a week honestly look at this point, everyone, it would be different um, intuitively, like how much you should or shouldn't be doing it. Okay. But three times a week would be great. Obviously, if you get pulled to do it a lot more, do it more. If you're really stressed about something, do it more. So anything you feel like there's a lack of in your life right now that you are freaking out that it's going to disappear, you need to attract it to you. Think of yourself as this beautiful magnet that whatever you believe you have, it will come to you. And especially while we're all isolated, there's so much less distraction. Yeah. Which is terrifying sometimes because your thoughts get real loud. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very loud. Fears. Yes. Or any sort of lack in your life. Any sort of lack. 
Right. Yeah. One would be anything that you feel a lack of, find it in your life make a list of it because then you'll create more of it and you won't fear it disappearing as much. Love. Speaking of love. Yes. Um, the thing that completely changed my path, I feel like, is working on self-love. Everybody could do with working on it more, right? I mean, I know being British, we have such a stiff upper lip and you just soldier on and it's such a, a foreign concept sometimes talking yeah. about self-love and it can feel a bit indulgent or a bit selfish but as soon as I started doing exercises to boost that it really transformed everything the way I acted I was kinder I was nicer I was more at ease like I was joyful more so are there any exercises that can help people with that yeah I mean why I love what you just said is it's so true to everybody self-love is the base to all humanity that's what I tell people there are so many distractions the noise of everyday life can get so loud sometimes yeah. but it's the practice and that you can get better at it even if you feel oh my gosh I'm never gonna get to the point where I love myself you yeah can. it's it's going to be difficult but we're also just not taught actual tools to to integrate it into our life i think there's a lot of mixed information out there yeah i think i've seen so many people be like oh self-love i've worked out and i'm like yes even though that's very good that you're taking care of your body and that's very loving it's not it's such an external thing it's not the internal thing so I think there's a lot of miscommunication about what is self-love and how to actually implement it. So self-love has to be there at all times, no matter what happens on the external. We have to love ourselves on such a level that we think we are amazing, no matter what is around us. The exercise you gave me two years ago, a year and a half ago, is the five minutes in the morning, as soon as I woke up, I wrote five minutes of things I wanted other people to say about me. So basically things I wanted to be or be thought of. So it was amazing person, kind, generous, and then amazing actress, the best director you've ever known. And, and the most important thing that you said to me like, is that even if you don't believe it, it doesn't matter. And mm. oh my gosh, those first couple weeks of writing it, I was like, you know, vomiting in my mouth of just how self-indulgent and gross it was. And then now I'm like, yeah, woo, woo, woo. Let's celebrate. Woo, woo, woo. When you start doing this, it's going to feel so icky and just weird. You could set the timer, like you say, for five minutes and then just come up with three things and it's really hard to write them down and see it. Yeah, I mean, I know people who sat there looking at the timer being like, oh my God, when is this done? Because I have nothing, I can't think of anything else to put on this list. But you're right. So there's the reflection part of it, but there's also the brain, right? And we were programmed up until 25. After 25, we have these programs of how we react. And it's really impossible to shift them after 25 unless we do a repetitive action. So this, this exercise that you did, at first it was just like, oh God, oh God, oh God. But the more you made a new neural pathway in your brain that says, no, actually I am amazing. Like, oh my God, I do have these things. The bigger that one got and the brain goes, oh, which one do I go down? And it ends up going down the bigger one because you're, repet like you're doing it every single day. Yeah, you're exercising it. Exactly. And then when the brain stops using the old one, it actually restores into the brain. So it actually disappears. So I think a lot of um, self-love stuff, people just have to understand you have to stick with it enough to get the brain to shift. Yeah. It's hard at first, but it's worth it. Is that a good self-love exercise that you'd still recommend the five minutes in the morning? Yeah. I think for you, it was words of affirmation, right? So Everyone has different love languages and I usually intuit what they are for my clients and, and or I, you know, Lil, <laughs> or I know Lil, <laughs> but so everyone's going to have like a different love language and that does help, but that's a great exercise to do. One that's coming to my mind and guys, this is going to sound so silly. I promise you this actually waking up and giving yourself a hug. There's a lot of people who are by themselves right now. Yeah. There's physical touch going on so 
and you're in your house with people where you're just like, oh my God, get away. <laughs> so like there's, there's such a lack of physical touch for a lot of people. So like really hugging yourself. Again, like a little experience, you're first gonna be like, okay, yeah, okay, great. And <laughs> 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 you're gonna get to a point where you're just like, no, I deserve to be like loved. I deserve to be hugged and appreciated and starting your day with hugging yourself and maybe saying stuff like, you are amazing and you do come first you matter first before anything out there you know start with a day first of physical touch and I, like i said i think that's coming up because i think there's a lot of people um feeling a little alone right now yeah. so i think having that physical touch will be good oh that gave me all goosebumps that's good. So lovely isn't it God, i don't know if i've ever hugged myself i know that, like thing at school where you turn <laughs> around and, you yes know. Fake making out. Well, yes, exactly. Look, I think that the energy is going to change where all the distractions that everyone's kind of using starts not feeling fun anymore, right? Like everyone's doing Zoom calls and everyone's doing happy hour stuff and 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 really filling up this time. Like, oh, okay, we just got to get through this. We just got to like muster through it. Yeah, that's going to soon start to like disappear and feel a little like, okay, that's actually not filling me up anymore. And like now I'm starting to like feel really uncomfortable. Do the stuff we just talked about now so that when that energy starts to shift and be a bit more stressful, that you are being aware of like what you need to actually focus on. Like take the time for yourself right now. I know there's like this community outreach, which is amazing, amazing, but before the, the energy starts shifting into like a bit more stressful um, and the next distractions fall off, really focus on how are things making me feel? Because it is trying to tell you something, trying to get you to focus your energy down the right hallway. Right. And you know, right now we're, we're still a little distracted by the, the new set of norms, right? Yeah. And that's okay, and and it's great, and I think this is where people are experimenting, like what does this look like, and I think it's amazing, but I'm just, I can sense that there's going to be a shift soon, that that's no longer fun, <laughs> and, and we're tired of this thing. So um, do these exercises, tap into how things are making you feel, because that will, once you start moving through those things, it will start to feel much more peaceful. Yeah, I love that. And there's so, it's like you say, what I feel a little bit like I'm grasping to find what my routine is meant to be. Mm -hmm. That it, it, like, it's kind of frantic, even though yeah. there's so much stuff. So, so I completely, that rings so true for me that if you can set some structure in your way. Oh, wait, oh no. Sorry. My sister called me. A reflection! Oh. I did yeah. find it! Oh no. Yes. I'll call you back. Yeah, that, this is the magic. It is. It's a reflection in the sense of like, there will be constant calls and Zoom calls and... That's it. Yeah. TV shows to watch, all of it. And it's all great. You know? Hi, Maggie. Oh, hey, she, she's been lying here the whole time. I think she recognized your voice. Oh. Hey, as soon as she started hearing you talk, she was... She's all zenned out. She's super zen out. She was snoring the whole time. I hope you didn't hear it. We had feeling lack of anything right now. Find where you you actually have it, because you do. And then get some form of self-love to fill yourself up. Right, so that's like a, giving yourself a hug, telling yourself that you're great first thing in the morning, or maybe yeah. that's the list that you do the first thing in the morning. Yeah, list in the morning. You can also take a bath. And door and don't let anyone come in <laughs> yeah so it's just something that's for you right that fills you up in a positive good way putting yourself first so whatever you need to do for yourself first to feel relaxed and full right. anything else and that's not selfish that's actually selfless because the more you fill yourself up and are equipped you're so much more able to help other people and be a source of comfort or be generous and all that. If you're pouring from an empty cup, right? There's, you're not gonna yes. do much good. Exactly, everyone has that. Everyone needs to feel completely full so you can be the best version of yourself for everybody. Yeah. So oh, self-love! That's why I wore this t-shirt too, Amor. <laughs> this was so fun! I know!
um, Instagram and I'm doing classes and a course is going to come out in two months. So there's some new stuff coming out, which will be exciting. Yes. And Instagram is the place where you put all that stuff up, right? So people can. Yeah. Yeah. And actually my website always has everything, which is becomelightenergy.com. Everything you do is just so gorgeous to look at apart from anything else. Oh, so thank you. are a design you. fiend. I must have been a designer in a past life or something because I have an obsession with visuals. Yes, you do. Everything you do is just so freaking tasteful. I'm so oh. proud that we're friends. I'm oh. so proud that we're friends. Hey, cheers, babe. This is yours.